When water evaporates, it changes into which of the following states? Solid, matter, gas, or liquid? Okay, this is a very simple question in science. This is, this can even be found in your elementary, okay, elementary books. Now, another tip that I can give you when you are preparing for the lab, magbasa po kayo ng mga elementary books. Marami din po silang kinukuwang items sa ating elementary books. So, nakakatulong po kung nag-tutor kayo ng inyong mga junakis, ng mga anak nyo. Nakakatulong po kung... Um, um, nag-tutor kayo sa mga pamangkin nyo, for example, or sa mga nakababata nyong kapatid. Okay? Marami pong kinukuhang items ang galing sa mga libro sa elementary. Okay, number 15, when water evaporates, it changes into which of the following states? So, anong state of matter? Now, we know that there are three major states of matter. There's solid, there's liquid and there's gas, okay? So, three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Now, pag sinabi mong melting from solid to liquid, if you have an ice and it changes into liquid water, you call this melting. If you have liquid water and this changes into vapor or water vapor, you call this vaporization or boiling or evaporation. Now, from solid to gas naman, hindi dumadaan sa liquid state, you call this sublimation. Ano ba yung mga klase ng mga bagay na uh, pwedeng maging example sa sublimation? Examples for po natin dito would be yung mothballs mo, yung naftalin balls mo, yung mga puting bilog na nilalagay mo sa cabinet para hindi magkaroon ng ng um, ng ipis, no? hindi kainin ng ipis ang damit mo. Sila po ay nagsasublime. Okay? Nag-a-undergo po sila ng process na tinatawag na sublimation from solid, nagiging gas po sila. So, pag nilagay mo yung mothballs mo, yung naftalin balls mo sa cabinet bilang solid na balls, after a few days, mapapansin mo na wala siya. So, minsan, iniisip natin, baka kinain ng ipis. Pero actually po, eh, nag-sublime sublime siya. It underwent a process called sublimation. So, from solid naftalin balls, naging gas siya. Kaya po, amoy na amoy ninyo yung mothballs, di ba? Yung naftalin balls sa inyong cabinet. The sublimation from solid to gas directly without going through the liquid stage. State. Now, going back naman from gas to liquid, you call that condensation. Okay, from gas to liquid, you call the process condensation. Ito po ang proseso kung paano na form ang ating ulan. Okay, this is the process through which rain is formed, that is condensation. So from water vapor, di po ba, pag, pag nag-evaporate yung tubig na pupunta sa, sa kalawakan, na pupunta sa, sa, sa ating sky, and then maiipon siya as clouds. Okay, so pag hindi na kaya ng clouds, from water vapor ay mag, magkocondense na ang gaseous water natin. No? Water vapor, it, it'll condense. So from gas, magiging liquid siya at ibabalik na naman siya sa lupa through the process process that we call condensation nga in the form of rain. Okay, so that's condensation. Now, from liquid to solid naman, you call this freezing. Liquid to solid is called freezing. Now, the opposite of sublimation, sabi natin kanina, sublimation is solid to gas without going through the liquid state. The opposite for this would be deposition. So, deposition po, ang opposite ng gas to solid. Ano naman yung example sa mga bagay na nagpapakita ng deposition? Ang example po nito ay kung paano tayo gumawa ng mothballs. Okay? So, mothballs are formed through the process called deposition. Another thing, aside from mothballs that we have, ay yung albatros. Yung mga nilalagay yung parang bilog din na nasa restroom, nasa CR, no? Para hindi mga mo yung CR nyo your albatros, yan din po ay nag undergo ng uh, sublimation and deposition. So the correct answer here, when water evaporates, dito po siya, it changes into gas, letter C.